my favorite color is pink. Some boys don't like pink. I don't, I don't like pink, it's just not my color. I have never worn pink. For so many decades, women have been the consumers. They go out, they buy the products, and so we were kind of thinking about how it dates all the way back to the nuclear family where you have the straight couple, the two kids, and it's just like the mother is a housewife, does all the cleaning, all the cooking, all the shopping. So these companies, these advertisement companies, they're all trying to cater towards those women. Out there in, in the marketing world, in magazines and commercials, they're targeting young women to continue to purchase because I think through my role as an advocate for women's rights and women, uh, just women in general, I think I'm a little more sensitive to when I go out there and I notice the gender pricing and so I got out of my way to not buy those items uh, and, and not buy things that are being advertised just to women. Uh, but I think it's something that we struggle with on a regular basis and I think most people don't even notice. They're like, oh great, something's geared towards me as a woman. Versus like, why are these things different? Why can't I, you know, why do, I, why, why do I have to be different? It doesn't matter how, you know, wrong it might sound to us, you know, these businesses are just hungry for money. They make the quality of their products poorer and they also increase the price. So then women, they'll use it and they, use, they have to use more of it because the quality is so poor. I used to use this razor that was a men's razor because I felt like it, it did a better job shaving my legs. And then one day I decided I need to be more feminine and I, and I went out and purchased a, a pink razor that was packaged for women, sold to women. You can't charge me more because it's a pink product that's marketed to women. I should be priced the same as, as what we charge men. We notice for lotion, like there's no difference for lotion if it's for men or for women. Same with shampoo and deodorant, there's no difference. But the women's was a white bottle and it was 13 ounces. The men's was also 13 ounces, but it was a black bottle and it was a dollar too cheaper. Another thing that we noticed was not just pink and blue was a big color scheme, but also white and then dark blues, dark grays, a very dark color. And so the white was always with the women. White is associated with virginity and purity and all the good things that women need to have. And so women are associated with the color white and then men are allowed to be like mysterious and gruff and it's also white versus black they're complete opposites pretty much there's such a division with those colors and there's also such a division between females and males putting one gender in one place and the other gender in the other place and some people don't want to do that they think it's okay for boys to wear girls clothes and that girls can wear boys clothes i won't wear a dress because dresses are not for boys I have never worn a dress. Guys aren't comfortable wearing girl, girls' clothes because they think it's strange and they think it's weird and they don't think it's their personalities. They don't think it's right for that gender to wear those types of clothes. I believe that marketing to children is much more you know, impactful and in your face. I don't know if I play with boys' toys. I don't really want to play with boys' toys. I don't want to play with girls' dolls. Boys don't want to feel the shame of playing with some another gender's toy. I have nieces and nephews, so I see it when I go out to purchase stuff for them, and so I oftentimes try to find things that are gender neutral, and I definitely notice things that are geared towards a little girl or towards a little boy, uh, and it's really hard to find gender neutral stuff for them. As consumers, we have power and we get to choose what we do and don't purchase, and so having that consciousness that this exists and asking yourself the question like, why is this just marketed to one gender and does it have to be that way and is there a gender neutral item? If it was the ideal world, you know, brand more things is unisex. I think as legislators, we could also pass laws uh, to make sure that companies are held accountable and they're thinking about that from the beginning and they're not just, um, you know, thinking about their bottom line. There needs to be more information out there. So, and, and any opportunity to get more information out there to people about um, the gender bias. I get taxed, I have to pay extra because I was born with a uterus. Uh, and so it's bad enough that I, I've already underpaid, undervalued, and unappreciated. But on top of that, I'll, I also have to pay extra for products. You know, basically, the advertising and the marketing that's out there being directed to us is propaganda. You have to be aware of that.